uh, in the uh, when he was in the army, of course, he used to skydive all the time. And he would tell me how great it is. And I know most people say, why would you jump out of a perfectly good airplane? I get it. But at the same time, that's always sounded fun. And then I hear a story like that. And I'm like, never mind. Sounded like fun. I'm good. Crazy story out of uh, Utah. A four-year-old child fired a gun at police officers. Who told him to do it? His dad. And why were they mad? It was over a dispute of a food order at a McDonald's drive through The shooting took place in Midvale, just outside Salt Lake City. And a man flashed a gun at a fast food worker during an argument about his order. And I guess when this guy, Sadat Johnson, was at the drive through his two kids were in the back seat when the argument uh, broke out. So the cops were called. When officers arrived, they were able to remove Johnson, who was being uncooperative, from the vehicle. But while he was being arrested, cops say the dad instructed his four-year-old, who was still in the car, to shoot the officers. Cops said they saw a small arm and hand holding what appeared to be a gun from inside the vehicle door. A police officer hit the ground as the gun fired, and the bullet went upward, where I guess it hit an awning on the restaurant, so no one was seriously injured. The second child in the car was three years old. And, uh, yeah, so it's unclear whether the child was released into a guardian's custody or did it go to child family services. Not sure. The three-year-old, they're not even sure if it was the kid's sibling or not. But um, can you imagine you're getting arrested and you tell your four-year-old, grab daddy's gun and shoot the police? Unbelievable. All right. When we come back, we're going to go live to uh, Ukraine with ABC's Aaron Katursky. And now that President Putin has recognized the separatist Ukrainian regions in the east, what happens next? I mean, it feels like with every step, we get closer and closer to some sort of warfare. Is that the case? We'll find out when we talk with Aaron in just a second. But right now, let's take a look at your drive and find out why it's slow in Riverside. <laughs> Those usual delays, Jen, on the westbound side coming our way from about Tyler. Heavy stretches of slowing continuing through the Corona area as folks make their way to the 241 toll road. Not that one, nothing being reported in lanes. If you're encountering otherwise, though, pound 250 on your cell phone keyword is hit by traffic. Starting to get busier for you driving the 5 northbound out of Norwalk and Santa Fe Springs from before the 605. Heavy stretches of slowing for you right now as you continue through the Commerce and East LA area. Continuing 5 northbound beyond the 710 as you make your way toward the 101. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Polio Keeney. <laughs> Degrees already. Feels like springtime. Or wintertime. Or summertime. Hey, it's always time to go to Morongo. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. College baseball is going bananas. Watch the games on the 30-foot video wall at Sideline Bar. Dump nuts and snag a wall burger, too. Number four. Get serving plates and a stainless steel tool set when you earn 500 points on your reward card. The 28th or the 1st. Three. Pay with points. Food? Yep. Gas? Sure. Even skip? You betcha. Pay for them all with your reward points. And the number two. Top chef Fabio Bibiani is bringing you the marketplace. It's a world-class casino dining experience like you've never experienced. And the number one reason. Spring break is almost here. Book your break at MorongoCasinoResort.com today. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times. Here's SoCal weather from KFI. It's mostly cloudy today with a slight chance of showers this morning and more showers this afternoon. Highs will be in the mid-50s to around 60s. As we heard yesterday from the National Weather Service, we could see that snow level drop to about 1,500 feet. So you could see snow in the mountains. That includes the grapevine. So if you're trying to get over that, you might want to go sooner than later. We do have a wind advisory that starts at 8 this morning and lasts until 6 o'clock tonight by tomorrow. Should be just mostly cloudy with another slight chance of showers in the morning. And it looks like that chance will probably taper off in the afternoon. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge is getting your hands on this money. This is a bureaucracy. InnovationRefunds.com cuts through the red tape, helps you get the cash, 
They do all of the legwork. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get for you. They got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to innovationrefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, innovationrefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. Innovationrefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. Innovationrefunds.com. Hiring is hard. Luckily, there's Indeed. The hiring platform makes it easy to attract, screen, and interview candidates from the same place. To sponsor a job, you'll immediately get a short list of quality candidates on Indeed. Visit Indeed.com slash credit to get started. Omicron spreads faster than any other COVID-19 variant, so it's important for you to mask up to limit the spread. N95, KN95, and KF94 masks offer the best fit and filtration. Don't have these? Surgical masks or double masking with a surgical and fabric mask can also offer great protection. So there you go. Mask, vax, and get boosted. Learn more at covid19.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. At Ralph, we believe in higher standards for fresh. So we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for scouring and sunburn, allowing only the best produce to reach our shelf. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Ralph, fresh for everyone. We're hiring for immediate openings with next day pay, benefits, and great perks. Apply today at jobs.kroger.com slash ralphs. Stimulating talk. And iHeart Radio Station. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. Welcome to your wake up call. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Some of the big stories we're watching in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. There has been a steady decline in the number of patients in LA County being treated for COVID-19. Last Tuesday, there were 1,995 patients. By yesterday, that number had fallen to 1,310. That's a 34% drop. And the OC Healthcare Agency has declared a stretch of ocean off limits because of a sewage spill in Newport Beach. The closure is from the west end of Newport Bay from 8th Street. Public health officials say the spill of 35,000, 50,000 gallons was caused by a blockage of a sewer line at a restaurant in Newport Bay. News is brought to you by American Vision Windows. Let's go live now to ABC's Aaron Kaczurski in Ukraine. Aaron, good morning. Are you safe? Where are you right now? And what's the situation like right around you? Oh, it's strikingly normal, uh, Jen. Uh, in, in, I'm in Lviv in, in western Ukraine. And uh, I, you know, I'm just so struck by what a normal work day. You know, kids going to school. I, I, I was over in a shopping district and people kind of doing their thing. Uh, this weekend, the churches were full on Sunday. People out for brunch, cafes, whatever, stroll with the family. Uh, really just uh, no outward sense of, of panic. <clears throat> and, and we heard President Zelensky say today that there was no reason for anybody to lose sleep here right now. He doesn't believe there's an imminent invasion, an all-out invasion of his country that the U.S. And, and its allies may disagree about that. But, but he says Ukraine is ready uh, and will cede nothing to Russia. I saw that another statement of his is, you know, Ukraine is not afraid of anyone or anything. And it's interesting. I spoke with two women who were from Ukraine who still had family in Ukraine. They said the exact same thing you're saying. They said that nobody there seems to be worried that their family members were just going about their daily lives like nothing was going on. It's, it's crazy to me what we are hearing, what we are reporting, and then what is either not accurate or is it is it not uh the threat just doesn't feel as real as it does to us I'm, I'm a little bit confused on it honestly yeah no i don't know that there's a good explanation i think that you know people here certainly understand the threat it's not like there's a you know mistaking what you know the the, the capability of the russians or of, of president putin but there's just not a, a seemingly a determination to to get on with it until you know, until they can't. And I'm sure people are making private preparations or at least thinking about what they might do. Um, but, you know, so much of this is up to Vladimir Putin, which is probably the way he wants it. Uh, so far, he's ordered troops into eastern Ukraine, uh, pieces of territory that Russia effectively controlled already. 
uh, that he declared independent from the rest of Ukraine. Uh, of course, the rest of the international community disagrees with that assessment. Uh, but, but nonetheless, it does give Putin an overt foothold in the country. And the question is, you know, how much farther those troops are going to go? Or will he be content to just stick around in these little regions in the east? Nobody thinks he will. Um, but, you know, he hasn't told us what's next. And he keeps saying that these troops that he's ordered into those regions are peacekeeping troops, right? That's what he says. They're operating under the guise of peacekeeping. Um, you know, no one believes that either. And uh, you know, he's been portraying Ukraine as the aggressor, and, and he says it's a puppet of the Americans uh, who, who are going to threaten Russia with nuclear weapons if Ukraine is allowed, you know, to go unchecked. So, you know, he really, for his own citizens, kind of laid the groundwork for something bigger. Uh, and now it's a matter of when it happens. And so this area that he sent his troops into, like you said, really, it was it was Russia's, but Ukraine was occupying it. So now he's telling the Ukrainian soldiers, hey, get out of there. We just want our area back. But if they don't, that's an easy way for him, kind of a loophole for him to say, look, we were just trying to take our own stuff back. They provoked us, and so now we had to do something. Well, right. I mean, and, and, and this, of course, is not necessarily history the way everybody sees it, but rather, you know, Vladimir Putin's right. the way you know, version. Uh, because he says that Ukraine doesn't have a legitimate claim to statehood, that it was a creation of the Soviet Union and then granted independence uh, at the you know end of the the, the Soviet Union, that's that's not really what happened. I mean, there was a, there was a you know democratic clamor here, and and the, you know the people kind of won their their independence from the Soviet Union. It wasn't just merely granted as a as a gesture of goodwill. Um, but but Putin seemed to go back even farther to you know the Tsarist Empire that and and you know you wonder if he has bigger visions. Um, you know, he denied it today, said he didn't have any intention of getting the Soviet band back together. But, but that's how a lot of people see it, that, that he has aspirations. And, and especially with Ukraine, um, he seems to see the place as rightfully Russian. Well, and it was this super rambling statement, and when he started bringing up places like Latvia and Estonia, and he flat out says, that he, you know, that he wanted to bring back the old Russia. And then this morning, oh, never mind, no, 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 I, I didn't mean that at all. You guys misinterpreted it or whatever his, his exact wording was. But how do you, it was almost like we had a bit of truth serum from him for a moment. And then the next morning he goes, oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that last night. Well, you know, who knows what he really believes or what, um, you know, or, or, or what he's going to do. But, but you know, the U.S. is preparing a response. Uh, that's going to include more than the limited sanctions that it put in place so far. Uh, today, Germany uh, made this uh, this limited incursion costly by halting a pipeline that would have doubled the amount of natural gas Putin can send to Europe. So that's a significant economic blow. Uh, we know that the British are imposing sanctions. Uh, so he is going to pay a high price for this. And uh, more to come depending on how much farther Putin goes. All right. Aaron, thank you so much. Please stay safe. Thank you. All right. See you later. ABC's Aaron Turkey. Mm. You just don't know. There's so many ways to look at this. I hate to call it a game, but, I mean, it's, it's very much a game that Putin is playing. Did he throw... See, sometimes you don't know if this is just part of a bluff. Did he throw out words like, hey, bring the, you know... Bring back Russia, throw out Latvia and Estonia, just to see who flinches. Possibly. Did he really mean it? And then this morning went, how stupid, I shouldn't have said that last night. We've all been there, right? Or is, he, is this a sign of things to come? Is he really saying first Ukraine, and then after that, we'll move on to these other little countries? Oh, but I don't really mean that. But I really mean that. You don't know. It's just too difficult to figure out what his bigger game plan is. And as I mentioned earlier, he's already taking foreign money out. He's already making sure that he's got 
the resources for any sanctions, you know, to, to refill the coffers for any sanctions that may come their way, billions and billions of dollars that they've already pulled and are holding on to right now because they've been planning this. So who knows ultimately what his big game plan is. But we know there's something, obviously. And uh, again, President Biden is expected to make some uh, more exact statements this morning on the sanctions that will be placed on Russia. And I'll let you know what they are throughout the morning. All right, let's get back to some of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. We've got a winter storm here. The National Weather Service has issued a freeze warning for California's Central Valley, the Sierra, and the Sacramento area. Meteorologist Corey Mueller says it will last through Friday morning there. The coldest night looks to be Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but also Tuesday night and Thursday night are still going to be cold. Those temperatures are going to be right around freezing here in Sacramento. Mueller says people traveling should be careful and people should protect their pets and plants, but I'm happy to see that we've got the freeze warning in the Sierra, of course, because we need that snowpack all day long. Well, SpaceX has sent another batch of Starlink satellites into orbit. Three, two, one, engines full power, lift off, Starlink 4 -H. ABC's Jim Ryan says a Falcon 9 rocket launched from Cape Canaveral carrying 46 satellites. Earlier this month, 38 Starlink satellites were lost after launch when a solar storm dragged them back down into the Earth's atmosphere and they burned up. The Falcon 9 first stage rocket used in yesterday's launch landed on a drone ship and will be prepared for its next mission. A study in the journal Nature Communications says certain colors could make a person more inviting to mosquitoes. Researchers from the University of Washington tracked the behavior of certain female mosquitoes using scent and color cues. When researchers sprayed carbon dioxide into a chamber, the insects flew toward the dots that were red, orange, black. Now dots that were green, blue, or purple were ignored. So am I going to see a lot of you then in green, blue, and purple this mosquito season? And everybody who's red, orange, and black is going to stay inside? <laughs> Here's the story I was telling you that uh, I hope that Michelle Cube's husband, Kim, if you're listening this morning, she needs this. A woman in Virginia got a lot more than flowers and candy for Valentine's Day. She says her husband gave her a lottery ticket, which was already scratched off. And most of us would be like, thanks, honey. Well, she says her husband told her it was a $10 million winner. But she thought he was joking. He wasn't. The Virginia Lottery says the ticket was the final $10 million winner for the Extreme Millions game. Scott, if you're listening and you ever want to give me a $10 million ticket that's already been scratched off, I won't be offended. You are welcome to. And finally, this story is out of Knoxville, oh, Tennessee. Oh. But its origins are in Southern California. Oh, Most cats who get taken to an animal service center, it's, it's rare they get reunited with their owners. But Joe and Leanne Zneck moved to Knoxville from California in 2015, but they lost their beloved cat prior to the move. The cat's name is Ebby, and Ebby apparently enjoyed spending time outside, but one day, Ebby just didn't come home. It's been a long time, they said, and we thought we'd never seen her again. It's over seven years. We hoped and prayed she found a good home, and that's kind of what we thought in the back of our minds. She's probably just found a good home, right? Well, then someone took Ebby to a shelter. And through Ebby's microchip, they were reunited. They said, it took us some time to figure out what we were going to do. How do we get this cat to Knoxville, Tennessee? The logistics were basically me asking my wife, can I do this? And you're not going to kill me? And the reason I have to ask my wife is because we can't use taxpayer money on a personal pet, right? According to uh, the guys who found the cat at the shelter. But... The guy who found the cat at the salt shelter, Riverside County Department of Animal Service Chief John Welsh, who said, can't use taxpayer money, so how do I get this cat back? Paid for the trip with his own money, traveled more than 2,000 miles with Eddie by plane and car, and he said less than 2% of impounded cats are reunited with their owner. So I would like to make Riverside County Deputy of Animal Services Chief John Welsh a hero of the morning. You, sir, are amazing. All right, when we come back, I've got a couple of interesting stories for you. One of them is regarding Russia and how it could affect you if you are planning on going to Ukraine. I would just say don't plan on traveling there anytime soon because 
Bottom line is you're going to have a tough time getting there. Also, romance scams have hit an all-time high. Just heads up if you're online dating. And Britney Spears has inked a multi-million dollar tell-all book deal. All those stories coming up in just a moment. Right now, let's get a look at your drive on the 210. Plus, I'm going to be a busy one for you to come out of the Glendora area. Off the 57, continuing through Azusa as you make way through Irwindale as well to the 605. Nothing reported in lanes, but if you're encountering otherwise, you know what to do. Pound 250 on your cell phone keyword, KFI traffic, for, uh, further westbound on the 210. As you get down to the Monrovia area through Arcadia, looks like it's going to be busy again for your 210 westbound from before Huntington Drive as you continue towards Santa Anita Avenue. Westbound 10 is an alternative to the 210 west through the San Gabriel Valley SUV. That will be busy for you right now as you come out of the Covinas from before Graham through Baldwin Park for the 605. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliokini. Hey all, it's Dean Sharp. Are you looking to sell your home in 2022? Well, congratulations. That is a big deal. For most of us, it's the biggest deal of all. So let's make sure you get everything out of it that you can, yeah? Before you get ready to list, make sure you call the good folks at Revive. Revive's business is to maximize your home's sale value. How? By guiding you through market-critical upgrades before you sell. It's like flipping your own home, except Revive fronts the cost and guarantees results. Yeah, you heard that right. No money out of pocket and a higher selling price guaranteed. You can list higher and sell faster in just a few short weeks. In fact, the average homeowner sees 160 k in additional profit. This is a no-brainer. Revive has created an easy, stress-free way to maximize your greatest asset, your home. So, are you thinking about selling? Then before you do anything, chat with an advisor at Revive. To get started, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Hiring can be a headache. That's why there's Indeed, the hiring platform that removes the hassle. Sponsor a job and immediately get a short list of quality candidates. And you can schedule and conduct video interviews right on their site. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. 13th ranked UCLA basketball was able to fend off Arizona State. Jalen Clark scored a game high 16 points as the Bruins won their third consecutive outing. Michigan basketball coach Juwan Howard will be suspended for the rest of the regular season. Howard hit a Wisconsin coach leading to a post-game brawl. And NFL teams can start franchise tagging players today. The Chargers are widely expected to tag star receiver Mike Williams. I'm Nikki Jordan. The compact GLA proves it's not the size of the SUV in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the SUV. Learn more about the nimble and ready for anything Mercedes-Benz vehicle at MBUSA.com. MBUSA.com. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. There's a lot of COVID info out there, but not all of it's true. So it's important to remember the facts. Do COVID-19 vaccines give people the virus? Nope. It's actually the opposite. Vaccines teach our cells how to fight COVID-19. And just like other vaccines, COVID-19 boosters help keep our immunity strong. Share the fact, not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Donate your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and three nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Before I started Ruder Hero Plumbing, I was an angry young man. Hello, I'm John O'Claire. I was angry because my dad died when I was 17 and he left me alone. I was angry because I couldn't go to college with my friends and because I had to drop out of high school. It's not a pleasant story. But as I grew older, I also grew up. I realized that my dad didn't leave me alone. He left me with values and principles that continue to shape my life. Dad said, be on time. He didn't like it when people were late. He taught me to be polite. It was something I lost, but we captured along the way. And he taught me to keep my promises because broken promises lead to broken relationships. We keep and keep these values at Ritter Hero Plumbing. I think we have a pretty good company. I know we have great people. And if one of our heroes fails to live up to these values, please call me. My private number is on the back of every Ruder Hero business card. You can also reach us at RuderHero.com. Thank you. Whether you're already on Medicare or soon will be signing up for Medicare, 
Managing Medicare can be overwhelming, so let me suggest contacting AGA Medicare Options and get educated about all the rules before you make any of these decisions. There is a free dinner and educational Medicare seminar, no enrollment fees, no sales, so read your checkbook at home. And this is with AGA. AGA's team of experienced agents will advise you step by step on a plan that fits your unique situation and budget because we're all different. And AGA will help you find plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost. Call to attend a free seminar near you. Now pound 250 on your cell and just say, My Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell and say the keyword, My Medicare. Or visit agamedicareoptions.com, agamedicareoptions.com. Portions of the following program will be recorded. I take one sip and I feel buzzy. I have no tolerance whatsoever for alcohol. Neil had me get drunk, and then you know what I found out? Bill Handel. You can actually do this radio show on the floor on your back. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KMI. President Biden is expected to reveal new sanctions against Russia any time this morning. The EU and UK are doing the same in response to the country's new military action in Ukraine. The president also has some domestic items on his agenda. He's going to hold a virtual event later this afternoon to update progress on job creation, securing critical and minerals, supply chains, and clean energy manufacturing. And those new developments are unfolding in Ukraine right now. Russian troops are said to be moving into the two territories now recognized as independent states. We'll be following up on this. Yeah, on I want to get you some big bites this morning. And it looks like a couple of things are happening when it comes to Russia and Ukraine and your business. First off, if you are trying to get to Ukraine anytime soon, that's going to be a problem because a lot of airlines are saying, nope, we are not going to fly into Ukraine right now. And it makes a lot of sense. I mean, they don't want to put people in harm's way. You don't, you never know. I mean, with war, what, you know, stuff often goes up. And then things come down if they get hit by what went up. So, um... It looks like right now it's Lufthansa and Air France that have joined in this. Um, and I would just say that if you have an international flight anywhere, just double check. You don't know what the route is, that sort of thing. So you might just kind of want to keep that in the back of your mind if you are planning on traveling. Especially now that uh, you just heard from Tom Rivers earlier this morning, the UK is lifting pretty much all restrictions. So there might be a lot of people who have said, I put this European trip off for years. I really like to get there. Just make sure, you know? Probably not, probably won't be impacted, but might just want to double check. You've been looking for love, might have been in all the wrong places, because you might have been one of the millions of people who were scammed by these romance scams that ended up with a $547 million increase in scam losses, which is up 80% from the prior year. But if you think about it, a lot of people were home last year, didn't go out a lot. And maybe you were looking for companionship, you know? You felt like you were at home trying to be safe, but you still wanted to find somebody, you know, that that need for love and affection and whatever, even friendship grows. That is how, though, a lot of people took advantage of other people. Romance scammers draw people in using real pictures stolen from the Internet, and then they build these false personas that just seem just enough to be true, but they always have...